Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and since I haven't tried any new makeup in the God, last two months I want to say I've been super busy and so since I haven't had a chance to you know try the new and whatnot I thought of talking about my top five blushes in my collection I don't know I didn't know I was such a big blush person until I decided to do this video like I was thinking of like five top things in my collection and I found that I had like a million blushes and I picked up the ones that I usually go for and I wanted to speak about them because some are underrated some are Oh, not overrated but are well known and I just wanted to talk about them talk about the products that I have and give them a little shout out and just talk about makeup so if you want to know my top five blushes then just keep watching okay so the first blush that I'm gonna talk about is the ColourPop uh, blush in main chick I believe, yeah, it's main chick. Got I'll put the prices below, but obviously no, it's a drugstore price. That's the first thing. And what I love about the ColourPop blushes, the formula specifically, is that it lasts so long. When I first tried these blushes, one, I love the color because it's like um, orangey, like a matte orangey, but it doesn't look dull on the skin, but rather... Uh, how can I explain? Like it just meshes into your skin. It doesn't stay like powder on top of your skin Which is something that I really really like which is why I don't mind that it's a matte or that as a powder It's not powdery and then it stays for so freaking long I remember I went on this event at work and I spent the whole day out and Everything like I'm talking 6 a.m. to 5 7 p.m. And everything like the blush everything had faded um the bronze by ColourPop had faded because I was using a lot of ColourPop back then and like the, the foundation had faded a little bit but the blush had stayed on perfectly just as if I had put it on right at that second it looked it stayed on it was perfect and and I it's so cheap <laughs> I just love it and I honestly don't have more of these blushes because I want to try I'm trying to vlog so I'm trying to purchase new things which is why I get different tones from different brands rather than everything from one place. But I do love the color, which is again, main chick, just in case you didn't get that. And love the formula, it's amazing. Now, the second blush I'm gonna talk about is again, ColourPop. I'm just gonna name these two since they're the same brand. This is the Cream Blush in Aloha. And this is more of a muted tone pink. What I like specifically about this cream blush, because I have all their cream blushes, is that since it's not super emollient, it's, it actually stays on the skin. It sits really nicely, like it's not like, you know how you touch your face and it's like disturbingly tacky? So this is not the case, it doesn't do that. It pretty much lays out, it has a nice color, it's not too pigmented. Just like the blush that I just mentioned, that's what I do like about that one as well, is that you can pile it on and it's not too much. It's the same with this one, it can just be blended out with your fingers and it's such a nice glow to the skin without it being like super tacky or without it moving around in your face. So I feel like this is the perfect cream formula for me, I think. <laughs> now third would be Tarte Blush in Risqué. Yeah, I bought this in a, at Ulta and they had it at half a price, yeah, it had like an offer, it was half a price and it's like this beautiful nude pinky, dusty pink, mauve a little mauve in there. I don't even know, let me see if it has, no, it doesn't have like a description, but it's just such a beautiful blush. Like, this is the blush that I use on this every single freaking day. Like, it's just so, like, natural. Like, I just, you know, like, I just woke up and I'm kind of like a little blushy. And that's the kind of feel that it gives me. It's very, again, these blushes, all that I'm mentioning, melt into your skin rather than stay on top of it, which is weird because most of the, all of these blushes are powder rather than cream and they act so well on my skin, especially because it's so dry my skin. I usually am on the fence of powders in general and this works so nicely. Like when I lay it out on my on my skin, it just feels like nothing, literally. And it's not super, super pigmented, which is why you can play with it, you can pile it on and it's not gonna be overwhelming to your face. And again, this, this shade, I love it. And I love that it brings a mirror, which is nice because this, you have to buy it on the side. And obviously the cream, the cream blush doesn't have one, but this brings a mirror, which is really nice. And usually at Ulta, they have it at half a price. Not usually, but they have a bunch of offers, so you might easily find it at half a price. So I do like that about, about Tarte Blush. So we went from orange to muted pink to 
dusty nude pink and then now we're moving into again a fiery shade that is actually called always fiery this is by elf it was i believe six bucks i want to say and i have been asked if this what like have this on i've been asked if this is a cream blush this formula surprised the shit out of me like if i could buy only blushes i think i would buy it from here because it's so cheap and the formula is so freaking great and this color is so delicious it's just like makes me feel freaking alive like if you put this on your cheeks it's like you went to the beach and you got sun kissed and it's like you have this warmth in your face that i can't even explain to you and with this you do have to be careful because it can be a little it's not hmm, what can i say it's not like super pigmented but since the color itself is very you know intimidating i usually put it in my hand and then i just like on a brush i, pow I powder it in my hand and then i put it on my face and it gives you exactly that like that look of i went to the beach i spent a couple hours my face is kind of red and and this is the blush that i'm kind of getting into and again the, ugh, the formula it's kind of like I don't want to say velvety, not cream, but yeah, almost velvety because it's so soft and it looks like it's not fully matte, which is something that I really, really like. This one and the Tarte one, they're not really matte. They have like a little, you know, like kind of like subtle sheeniness to it, which doesn't leave your, your cheeks to be like dry, look dry or dull, even though because of the color, it's just, it has such a reflective to it. It has such reflectiveness to it that it doesn't leave your skin looking like bleh, which is what I really really like about this elf blush. Again, I, I would purchase them all from here but if, if I were to just get blushes, I would get them from here I think. And then last but not least, this is Patrick Ta blush and it's hella fucking expensive. It's like 30 bucks. It's, I think this is the only one I've given 30 bucks for, but listen. This is in the shade She's Seductive, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, She's Seductive. This is the most delicious. It's like a pinky brown. It has like a brown undertone. And it's so lovely on the skin. Like, this is the one that I have on. I have another one on. I have the Tarte one on. And then I have like this one on because I have issues. And again, it's like, ugh. On my skin, it looks a little bit pinker. But this is like browner. Like a little like tan blush i want to say and it looks so pinky on my skin <laughs> like actually when i bought it i was a little disappointed because i thought it was going to be a little you know a little bit more of like kind of in between between blush and and bronze but i do like the 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 color that it gives my face um essentially i would i would really like to try another blush that's kind of like in between maybe like the tart one but like a little bit brownier you know kind of like give me that that I don't know where you're wearing blush or bronze situation, but you look tanned. But it's not specifically bronze. That's the kind of look that I want to go for. But this is such a lovely bronzer. I mean, such a lovely blush. And it's crazy because it is powdery. It is essentially very powdery. But it is at the same time such a nudie color that it's. I think it's great for the day-to-day. -day. I used to use it for a while for the day-to-day. -day. And again, even though it's powdery, it doesn't really look powdery on the skin and it doesn't really lie on top of your skin but rather like meshes in which is something that i really really like again all these blushes do so as well but this is so beautiful and again that was 30 bucks but like the difference in packaging between all these blushes and yeah i put in packaging as part of the deal okay because it's so beautiful so well presented it's so luxurious come on like just putting this on like I get this, this feeling and again yeah that too i wanted to say um i do look a little pinkier on the viewfinder but in real life i look a little bit more muted than the camera presents it and again i have lights on and whatnot but this